guys, this is Natasha with Natasha Foster Artistry. This is my first video. I'm going to do some paint pouring. I am a novice. I would say even a beginner. I've been doing this for about six months or so, and I don't measure. I mix my paints, which is really probably going to be weird for you guys. I'm going to try to tell you what's in there, but you know, it's kind of hit and miss. But that's kind of the good thing is just doing what you want, what, what looks pretty, and making art and you know everyone's art is different and everybody's art is good so just make art and especially during this time I think it's a good time for smiling and doing things that make you happy so do that so anyway um my colors um their mix it not all mixes but this is a Prussian blue mix however um the only reason it's that is because I ran out of Prussian blue so I did a I did this like royal blue and black, and I think I put something else in, but I think purple. Anyway, it's not great, but it's, it, you know, it's a dark blue. And then I have this metallic blue, and that's for real, and that's from Blick. Actually, it's not Blick. It's through Blick, but it's Sargent, and it's really pretty. It's freaky parody. Okay, so I use that. I love that one. This is Digoxazine. Is that how you say that? Purple. Uh, Liquitex Basics. This is a um, uh, satin enamel, and this one actually is the deco art. But normally, I go to the hardware store and I get. Um, usually, it's bare or something like that, but it's not a big deal. They all work. I've used many different kinds, and they all work. This is deco art 24 karat gold. This one is. Which one is this? Oh poop. Um, oh, it's it's. Uh, Hold on. Here we go. It's Artist Love Metallic Cobalt Blue. I use this blue all the time. I mix it with the Prussian blue, and it makes the most pretty color. Um, so try that. It's it's like this gorgeous. Actually, I have some. Hold on. Oh, it's, a, it's a crappy container, but you can kind of see. It's like this really pretty sort of turquoise. Anyway, I'll use it sometime soon. You'll see. Um, okay. Sorry, I keep, I keep <laughs> doing everything wrong. Oh, okay, and this one is, I believe, and I'm sorry, I do that, I believe it is Artist Loft Deep Magenta. I'm 99% positive, but it's a pretty per uh, pink, so get a pretty pink. Okay, and so, let's see. Oh, my canvas. This I get I got from Blick. Also, mind you, I do not normally have enough money to do this. I normally buy Michael's little crappy canvases, but I happened to get a gift card for Christmas, and I got the good stuff. And let me be honest, it's going to be hard to not get the good stuff. So this is a ten by ten. You know what? I'm just realizing is this this is probably backwards for all of you. I don't know how to do that, but anyway, um, it's ten by ten Blick Studio stretch canvas, and it's one and three eighths. Uh, in depth. it It's worth it. If you can afford it, it really is worth it. It's gessoed, which makes it even better, so you don't have to do that if that's something you would do. So yeah, that's that's what that is. Okay, forgive me. I'm going to get better at this, hopefully. Okay, so here's the, here's the deal. I'm going to mix. Now again, not a whole lot of planning going on here. Um, it is just who I am. So, and uh, yeah, okay. Let me just move these things off. Oh, cr okay, now see, I just spilt. So this is like so common <laughs> for me to do. Okay, hold on a sec, everybody. I would, I might edit that, but you know, who knows? It might be cute, we don't know. Okay, so, okay, put a paper towel and mush it up. Okay, sorry, again. Okay, moving all my stuff. Try not to spill. And okay. So, this is a six ounce cup. Again, I do not measure, and I'm sorry. Okay, so just to give you an idea of the way my brain works, I like to have a color go into a dark color in the center of my painting. It does not always work, but that's the plan. And again, it doesn't matter if it doesn't work, because it usually makes something pretty. So don't get too caught up on what you, know, you wanna do just do it okay so in theory <laughs> so i'm going to put a the dark 
Prussian blue kind of thing on the bottom. And I want it to kind of not be a lot, but you know, a decent amount. Oh, and the, I forgot to tell you the way I mix my colors. Um, this is just, I've tried different things. And for me, the Floetrol alone, it works, but it does to me, it doesn't work as well. I use, um, a pro, this is all approximate. I use approximately 10% Elmer's glue all. Um, eight, mm, let's say 20% Elmer's glue all, 70% Floetrol, and then about 10% water. But I also, and this is new, I've been putting like a little, like a little scrunch in, like just like a, just a quick little thing of this. I don't know. We're gonna, I'm, I'm learning. It may do something. It may not, but I'll let you know. Okay. So I got the blue in there. And then I love this color and I would like again for it to kind of come out into the blue, but I don't want it to be an extreme amount. So I don't, I realize I can't see much of this. Okay. And then next I would like it to be, you know, I want it to be dark on the, on the other end. So I'm going to add a little more of the blue, but again, not a lot. And now this is where you just kind of go like what looks pretty. So actually I think I'm going to. I'm going to put some of the satin enamel now. And again, nothing measured. I just kind of go by eye. Whatever seems like it's a good thing at that moment. And I think I'll do some purple. Because you're going to notice these are my favorite colors. Purple, blue, dark blue. Okay, what do I got in there? Okay, so let's put some gold. You can't kind of... You kind of have to have gold in everything because it, it looks that good. And then I think I'm going to put some regular white now. Just because and not too much. Just kind of break up the area. That's a little thin. Okay. I'm gonna down there. I think I'm going to go back to the blue. And then I'm going to do this pretty aqua-y color. Got some of these. Okay. Here's the thing. My weather over here has been terrible. It's been like, finally we're warm enough and what am I going to do? Sorry. Um, this is the satin enamel. Um, it's been, it's finally warm enough, but it's been windy and I do my painting outside in my carport, which is not ideal, obviously. Um, now the purple. And so it has been too windy for me to do any type of painting outside. And so that's been kind of a bother. This is the pink. And again, I call it the pink because again, I couldn't tell you what the heck it is right at this moment. Okay, what else? Let's see. Let's go my favorite blue. And I know like Sarah Mac, she, she has a pattern and, and it, that's why her stuff looks really good. I'm sure it has everything to do with it. But again, do what, do what makes you happy, man. Um, I think I'm going to put a little bit of satin enamel right here. Sorry, I, I'm sniffly. Why? Because it's the weather. Everything about my life right now is the weather. I'm actually, well, we've got the whole quarantine. That's not helping much of anything. Um, see, now I, I think too much. Okay. That's what you shouldn't do. Don't think. Just do. And I know there's going to be some purists that are going to be like, eh, don't say that to people. Well, that's what I do. Okay, that probably was a bad idea. I'm just together, but... We'll see. And again, I'm probably putting too much paint, but it's okay. And then on my last go around, I try to go up high a little bit just to kind of to get it to go down. Sometimes it makes something cool and sometimes you don't really see it. Okay. You'll notice I'm filthy all the time. I can't. I'm a goofball. Okay. So set that aside. Move your stuff so you don't knock it over. It's always a good idea. Trust me. Okay. I have um, I have a thinned uh, artist loft white in here. Oh, by the way, the white that I was using in just the regular white is artist loft mixed with my mixture. Also, if it needs thinning, I do um, uh, Gina Deluca's little. Um, like I think it's 10% flow to about 90% water and that's what I kind of thin it out with instead of just water it seems to work a little better 
Okay, so now I am going to, hopefully this is thin enough. This has been sitting, or what I was going to say, because everything's outside, my my thickness, thinness is off. And so sometimes I, I don't get it right. But again, it, I can't keep saying it enough. It's all about just you know, doing what makes you happy. Don't, don't worry too much about it. That's what I did at the beginning is I overthought it. And now that I don't, you know, I make stuff that really is pretty to me. So there you go. Okay. So just, you know, whatever. Switch it on there. Like I said, I hope this is, yeah, it looks thin enough. Now I've been trying not to, um, waste. It's been kind of hard for me. Um, so, but I am trying Last, last season, I didn't do well, but this season I'm definitely making changes. Again, it's not perfect, but I'm doing better, so I feel good about that. Also, I see this little doohickey that I'm painting on. I made this <laughs> by myself, um, and this is the Smart Art Materials um, idea, but I wanted to try it out before I made my, my husband like make holes and whatnot, so we'll see how that goes. I'm pretty impressed with myself. I've gotten really crafty lately. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, I'm over 50 and now all of a sudden I'm, I'm, I'm doing art. <laughs> it's just, if you knew me, this is like so not me. So, but it's fun and I like it. So why not? Um, full disclosure, I'm a disabled American. I have all kinds of things wrong with me. I will talk about that if you want to. You can leave a comment and ask me and I'll tell you, but I'm not gonna like bore everybody with my problems. So yeah, also, this is new to me, but if you like, you should subscribe, hit the like button, and share, and let, you know, everybody know that you like my new page. And again, it's going to get better, so, you know, be nice. Okay, um, you know what, sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't, don't use that brush. Okay, here we go. So, I tend to do a modified ring straight pour, um, and I'll let you know what that means. It's kind of... You'll see. It's kind of like Sarah Max, or yeah. Okay, here we go. I hope you can see all this. Again, I'm learning. I'm learning my uh, setup, my camera. Let's see if that blue comes out. It's not coming out. So I'm just doing what it feels good to do. No, it's not coming out. Okay, I'm going to stop. I totally scooched it on the end there. Okay, since it's falling off, I'm going to go ahead and move it around. Just a little. Usually I wait a second, but it's all coming off one side. So I'm kind of just, you know, making it even. And this has everything to do with my little my little thing I made because it's. I'm sure it's not level. Okay, now I do a little bit of um, torching. Nothing major, just to pop the bubbles. The bubbles will bring up cells. I don't want major cells, but you know, it's kind of pretty. Okay, now this is where you get creative. You just do, do what you think. So I'm not, um, you know, I'm not good at teaching. So I hope you don't think this is like, <laughs> don't bring your children. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I do want to say I do tend to cuss, which on ac it's accidental it comes out of my mouth. It's my mother that comes out of me. Um, so yeah, I may cuss. I'm gonna try really hard not to. I promise. But it might happen. Yeah, my my um my thickness is really kind of wacky, so it's not great, but it's fine. Oh, again, I have to think in terms of the camera, don't I? Okay, now you want to work on your, um, your composition. Sometimes it's easier than other times. Like the, well, see, the blue that I had put at the, the beginning should have come out. Well, should have. I did something weird, so that's why it didn't. But, um, so yeah. Okay, I hate that little part in the middle that's really bothering me. So what I think I'm going to do, and this is a good, a good lesson. You can fix, quote unquote, your paintings if you don't like them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more. It also helps me to know, it helps me to know where to put my fix. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's see, I look to see what's in my cup. 
Um, if there's enough, then I just go ahead and use that. And in this case, it really isn't. So I'm gonna just add a couple more things to it. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna add a little more blue. And I just stick it in here because I'm just trying to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to kind of make this a little better because this is kind of bothering me. I'm gonna do that blue that I didn't get a whole lot of, but not, a, not tons. I'm going to do a little bit of the um, satin enamel. Again, you don't want a whole lot here because it's going to take over. <clears throat> what else do I need? Let's see. Let's do some pink just for, for uh, see, I almost said the S word. Okay. And then we'll put a tiny bit of gold. I don't know if this is going to look good or not, but we're going for it, man. Okay, let's do, we're going to pour right here. And a lot of this is going to come off, but we're just trying to see what we can do here. And I like um, a space look to all my paintings. At least that's what I kind of go for. And what I notice that is when I make a, a fix, it tends to look like a planet, which I did. So, again, do what makes you happy. Okay, and I shake really bad, so all the time this goofs up. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, and then I... Torch that a little bit. And I'll let it wait for a second. I wish I could do like that, you know, Jeopardy music. Yeah, I gotta fix this. This is totally not level. I wasn't thinking when I did that. It's just the other thing that I use. It's just really ugly. I use this, like, this tub here, and then I usually put, um, I have a Lazy Susan that I don't use for its purpose, and then I put on top of it, um, a, a cake pan with a tray in it. It's just, it's really ugly. So, okay. So here we go. Now I'm kind of wanting to not lose some things, but you know, it is what it is. Okay. So I'm going to just, just go around and see what happens. Can you see? I'm not, I have to really work on where the camera is for me. some of that. What do you think? Look like that planet to you? It's not too bad. Get a little bit off the end. I'll probably do too much. Oh well. Again, remember, oh well, it's fine. It doesn't matter. I mean, it matters, but you know what I mean. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks, is what I guess I'm trying to say. Probably, yeah, okay, it's not bad. I kind of like it. Okay, it's not the best colors in the world. This is part of the problem. I don't use pink. Pink is not my thing. So, um, I might need more of off there. It's bothering me. Yeah, just, yeah, see that pink? Reminds me of uh, Pepto Bismol. It really does. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. It's creating like a feather effect. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, yeah, it's not bad. Anyway, uh, yeah, pink, not so much. Okay, this is like struggle on this part. Um, and somebody, if somebody knows how to do this properly, you should probably tell me in the comments. Because okay, when I'm fixing my edges, when I bring it over and put it on top, it just never looks good. So what I end up doing is I usually put like white or something and my family's always, I like it, but I don't like the corners. So yeah, so there, see, and now I don't, I didn't use enough paint. I thought I had too much paint, but honestly, there's not enough. So, okay, think, think. See, if I had my other way of doing this, I could get it off the bottom, but I don't know if I can with, see what I can do. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. And I'm just gonna see what happens. But I've had nobody complain about corners. So, I mean, my family, but nobody I've sold to. So, so I guess that's not too much of a thing. I may make it a thing that I don't need to. Okay, yeah, this is a mess, but it is working. 
Well, that didn't work too well. That's okay. And then this side. Hmm. This side, I'm actually thinking, I think I'm going to use white. Just a little bit of white on the corner. Just to come on down. Just because it's like a different... I can't see the other side. Okay, the way I have my... my uh, tripod set up. I, there's no way I can get over there. Okay, now I'm going to hit it with the torch again, and this should create quote-unquote stars that are willing. I don't like to, again, overdo the um, the torching, because I just don't like the look of it when it speckles too much. Okay, well this isn't, I'll be honest, this isn't one of my best, but I don't mind it. So, there you have it. It's my first one done. Yay, team! Okay, so that's it. I think I'll turn you off, and I'll see you next time. Again, please like and subscribe and share. And I am going to put a tip jar just because I see some people do it. So if you'd like to leave a tip, feel free. I wouldn't mind, but I am not doing this to make money, so don't worry about it. Anyway, um, stay inside. Keep your distance, and be well. We're going to get through this together, okay? Thank you, guys.